Welcome to the ESR Africa studio, broadcasting from Enlet, Africa. Today I'm speaking with Matembo uh, Lusumba, who is the company secretary of Zesco in Zambia. Welcome. Thank you very much, Nicolette. So um, last year, Zesco announced uh, a success which looked at just over 1,100 megawatts onto the grid as a surplus. Just explain to us how you went about achieving that success. Okay, in terms of uh, the surplus that uh, we achieved last year, this is mainly attributed to the onboarding of uh, one of our power plants, um, Kafiwa Gorge Loa, uh, with a uh, capacity of 750 megawatts. So we did add onto our grid um, 750 megawatts from uh, this power station. The power station was uh, officially commissioned um, about uh, two months ago uh, this year. But um, in a nutshell, I think that um, went towards um, inc the increased uh, c capacity. Then in addition to that, we have a power plant in Livingston, which um, has a capacity of about uh, 108 megawatts. Uh, two of the machines uh, had not been up for some time. They were undergoing some repair works. So those machines were brought back on board so those also accounted for the increase in the, um, in the um, capacity of uh, Zambia. Right. Thank you. Right. Yeah. So uh, that's a really great successes. So let's talk a little bit about um, what Zesco's priorities are uh, for the next few years. For the next few years, we have quite a number of um, plans sitting on our plate. Uh, we just uh, recently uh, approved our strategic plan, which is uh, basically focused on um, increasing our generation capacity, uh, increasing our maintenance, effective maintenance, uh, economic uh, sus sus financial sustainability, optimized human capital, and uh, enhanced customer centricity. Uh, what is an area of focus right now is on the generation side. As you may be aware, we are mainly hydro. Most of our generation okay. is actually hydro. Uh, Colette, you may also be aware that with that uh, comes uh, hydrological risk. So when we have a poor rainfall patterns and of course with the climatic change, we do get affected uh, by that. So what we're looking to do is to diversify from uh, hydro to other, uh, you know, renewable uh, mm -hmm. sources of generating. We are looking to do solar, and uh, we've uh, made some strides towards that direction. We recently signed uh, with a company called Masta. It's a uh, UAE company. Mm -hmm. uh, the plan is to have 2,000 2, megawatts uh, brought on board. Of course, that would be in a very phased approach, um, starting with um, uh, about 500 megawatts in different parts of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, that would be in the form of uh, a joint uh, venture agreement uh, where Zesco will have some stake in it. We are also looking to partner with some independent power producers and uh, recently we signed um, some offtake agreements with uh, two, two companies that are um, uh, working in that space. Mm -hmm. We also hope to add to, um, to, to Thermo through an IPP, Mamba Collieries, they are doing about 300. They um, uh, would like to extend that mm -hmm. by another 300 to 600. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's an independent, most of these are independent power producers and Zesco is merely offtaking that, that power. So in a nutshell, we are looking to, um, to, to uh, work on our energy mix uh, mm -hmm. to diversify from, from hydro. We'll still do the hydro, which is basically uh, our mainstay, but we hope to extend that to solar. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So with you uh, expanding uh, your, your energy mix and uh, the amount of megawatts that you are going to uh, add to the grid, either through your own plants or through the, the IPPs, uh, let's talk a little bit about interconnection and the importance of that, because I'm sure that a lot of that capacity uh, can be shared across borders. Absolutely, you're absolutely correct. Um, 
interconnectivity is is key because that way once you have the interconnectors you are able to trade with neighboring countries uh, currently we do have interconnections with um, between um, Zambia and uh, Namibia Zambia and Zimbabwe and uh, through the DRC or this is through mm -hmm. a company called uh, CEC not directly with Zesco so indeed, in terms of our transmission networks, we are looking to expand that. And uh, like I said, interconnectivity, um, you know, the importance need not be emphasized. What it means is you're able to trade with neighboring countries and that translates into enhanced revenues. You know, you're able to, 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 to trade in and also you're able to bring in supply when you have a, a deficit. Right, so right. And that definitely, it, it, it is quite key. It yes. secures your supply and demand. Exactly, it secures our supply and demand, right. absolutely. And just one last question, what can we look forward to seeing coming out of Zesco in the next year? In the next uh, year, or should I say in uh, the next few years, we see uh, enhanced uh, generation, uh, more efficiency in the way we conduct our business, uh, more innovations coming out of Zesco. Yes. Fabulous. Thank I look you. forward to, to hearing about all of that. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for sharing, thank Matembo. You. Thank you. And to our viewers, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.